So for those of you who don't know, about one week ago, Justin and I got in a motorcycle accident. So we rented a motorcycle just like everyone else here does to go out and see the different things that we wanted to see in Hue, Vietnam. On our way out, we had to go through the countryside and when we were driving through the countryside, basically a motorcycle decided to U-turn right in front of us. So we had to slam on our brakes and there was no avoiding crashing. So it wasn't our fault, it was the other person's, but we crashed to the ground and it was one of those moments that feels like super duper fast for me. Um, as soon as I landed, I jumped up and ran out of the road immediately. And on the side of the road, my nose was bleeding and I kept spitting out blood, like my whole mouth was covered with blood. The thing that I want to talk about is not the accident itself, but the hospitality we received from the Vietnamese people because as soon as we crashed, within three seconds, there were at least five other Vietnamese people around us that were like helping me, helping Justin. One of them put me on the back of his motorcycle. The other one took Justin to the clinic that was nearby and they cleaned up our cuts and scrapes and everything and then they transported us to the hospital that's out in the countryside. I mean, right away, like, I mean, I'm covered in blood because it's coming out of my mouth and nose, so it's all over my hands and everything and I'm getting it all over this guy who's sitting in front of me on his motorcycle and he doesn't care at all. They're like giving me water, cleaning our wounds, making sure we're okay, seeing if we're hurt. They helped us bring our motorcycle to the clinic. And then at the hospital, we had like so many doctors just crowd around us to make sure we were okay. Um, my mouth ended up having a really big cut right here on the inside. So they had to give me stitches, which I'd never experienced before. So that was interesting. Since we were in the countryside, they didn't speak a lot of English. So they told me I needed stitches via Google Translate. At the hospital, they did x-rays, they brought us more water, they made sure we were comfortable, gave us like our own little room to lay down in. Everyone was just super accommodating. Our hotel that we rented the motorcycle from and that we were staying at came out to get the motorcycle and to pick us up and help us like di get discharged from the hospital and take us back to the hotel for free. He wouldn't accept a tip or anything. He's let us stay at this hotel for a week now, didn't make us pay for the motorcycle at all, and has like checked on us pretty much every day to make sure we're okay. We ended up having to go to the doctor a couple more times, Justin, because he had some cuts infected on his body, and me because I wanted to make sure that my teeth were okay because I hit really hard. So I went to the dentist, which I was expecting to be super expensive since I had to get an x-ray and they had to like clean everything and stuff, but they actually did it all for free. So honestly, it was just a freak thing that happens every once in a while. It really was just we were in the wrong place at the wrong time. But the best thing that came out of it was realizing how hospitable the Vietnamese people were, like taking us in right away because as soon as we crashed, there was that moment of like, what do we do? We have no idea. Like, do we call an emergency number? Where are we? What's the process of this? And like, we didn't really have to decide anything because everyone all already was like calling our hotel for us, figuring out where we were from, getting us on the motos, taking care of us making sure everything was okay and like really charging us next to nothing for everything. My stitches cost like five dollars. They really really took great care of us here and it was so heartwarming to be able to have people that instead of just crowding around us and looking like a crowd of bystanders, everyone was super helpful. So now we're pretty much healed and we're feeling a lot better than we did a week ago so we're gonna do the couple things that we had planned here and then we're gonna move on to Laos. If you like my vlog, please don't forget to like, comment, share with others, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks!